What's up, everybody? Robbie Ramnerain again from Robbie Ram CPA. I'm Devin Ramnerain. Hey, guys. So let's be honest here. We posted something not too long ago about LeBron James, and it got more views than anything we have ever posted on social media ever. So And boy, isn't he back at it again. Yeah, so we're <laughs> going to give the people what they want and talk about LeBron James. Yep. Let's get right into it. Number one. He could be deemed as a quitter. Do you want to talk a little more about that? I mean, a little bit. Um, I'm not a big sports fanatic. I'm more into hockey than basketball. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, whenever your partner takes an interest in something, you know, you take a... <laughs> yes, you take a vested, respectful interest in it as well. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, as far as LeBron James goes, and the quitting, he just kind of seems like he's kind of skated between the Cavs and the, the Heat and then back to the Cavs. And now he's gone. He's a free agent, just kind of doing his own thing. Like, he just kind of seems like a little bit flighty, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And oh my gosh, we went to go see a Heat game, the first professional basketball game I've ever seen. About a year and a half ago, yeah. And it was the Heats versus the Cavs. Mm -hmm. In Miami. The Heats. And... You know, that's there's a personal vendetta there. You know, there's personal meat and yeah, potatoes. Feelings. Yeah, he's going back to his old team right, to play and against his. Old, he's going back to his old team and playing against his other old yeah, team. Yeah. So you want to see that? Yeah, that's some drama. Yeah. You know, even for somebody who's not a basketball fanatic, like right. I like it, but he sat on the bench. In, I got to see the back of his head it the would whole be, time. It would be one thing if you're sitting on the bench and you have a suit on, you can't play, or you don't get, go to the game itself because you're getting treatment or whatnot, or you stay back in Cleveland. He was dressed in uniform, just didn't go on the court. I got to see Michael Jordan play live. I got to see a bunch of his games on TV. Michael Jordan had to be hit by a bus to take a game off. He never took off. He practiced hard. He played hard. He's a legend. And we're going to talk a little more about that in our next uh, piece. Yeah. So, yeah, just uh, the flightiness of a uh, basketball player deemed to be a superstar, no go. Yeah. Yeah, that just doesn't seem like the type of person, in my opinion, who's a real, like, bona fide entrepreneur. It kind of seems like somebody that's kind of been pushed into it. Right. I mean, still good, you know, still can hold your own, but not the king as they like to call him and that kind of leads into our second point you know michael jordan he didn't really make money from his basketball contracts alone not until the very very end of his career when the bulls had to pay him they didn't have a choice but before that nba salaries in general were not very high you're talking two three four million dollars in the early 90s was considered big money now the guy who's the 12th man on the team makes that basically right you know lebron always had the luxury of a big salary and, you know, Michael Jordan was able to get to billionaire status despite that low salary. Yes, he made money on endorsements, but again, different time, different place, and it was much harder to do that then than it is now with the kind of money that they pay these guys in both salary and endorsements. I mean, mm -hmm. LeBron, I think, just signed for something like $38, $38.5 million a year for four years. So, yeah, he may very well be on his way to being a billionaire, but... Even then, he will not be the next MJ. I mean, did you want to talk more about just... I mean, when you look at his stats, the, the amount of times he's gone to the finals versus how many times he's won, I know this is all over the news right now, but I'm going right. to talk about it too. You know, it's it doesn't match up to MJ. It kind of seems like they're making him out to be like Michael Jordan so they can keep selling products, so they can keep just like ambassadoring him for their brands. Right. Meanwhile, he's three for nine in the championships and Jordan was six for six. I guess signed with LA, but at the same time, who knows what the future holds and if that's a yeah. uh, publicity stunt or whatnot, who knows. So, and uh, that kind of leads into our third and final point as far as, again, publicity stunts. I don't know. He has some kind of questionable people hanging around him. First and <laughs> foremost, uh, people talk about his mother. Um, there are rumors of her allegedly dating some rapper not too long ago, and before that, apparently she may or may not have slept with one of his teammates in Cleveland, forcing him to leave Cleveland because everyone knew about it and he didn't. Gives new meaning to the word rim job. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, and I mean, uh, the media kind of... <laughs> The media kind of swept that stuff under the rug, but you just Google it and you come back here and tell me if you think we're just making stuff up. 
you know, again, I mean, yeah. you, you're not you're not accountable for what your family does, you know, when you're trying to make it, but at the same time, No, know, but if you keep them close, then they're gonna, their shenanigans are gonna follow you. Yeah, there are so many stories out there of Allen Iversons, Antoine Walkers, who made over a hundred million dollars and lost it, and we have nothing personal against LeBron James at the same time, you know, you gotta kind of make some wise decisions if you want to hold on to your money. He just seems like the basketball equivalent of the Kardashians, honestly. <laughs> you know, and uh... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Again, right now he is the NBA's best, but that doesn't say a whole lot really about the state of affairs in that particular league. I mean, there's some great players and some great talents, and you watch some of the training videos that these guys go through, it's not easy to make it. I mean, hell, I'm a failed, you know, basketball prospect, you know? I kind of like where I ended up despite that, but I digress. It's hard to make it to the NBA, uh, and uh, at the same time when you're there, you have to kind of just keep working, and if you want to get to that Michael Jordan level, you have to be relentless. You know, if you also Google Michael Jordan, his training regimen, he was almost psychotic in the way he trained and the way he just wanted to destroy an opponent. And again, LeBron just doesn't have that same fire in his belly. The closest was Kobe, and he's got five championships. Need we say more? Devin, do you have any final thoughts? Yeah, you know, it's just, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know the guy, but it just kind of feels like he's kind of had it, honestly. And I mean, I don't know 100% about all this basketball stuff, but, you know, like I said earlier, you take an interest when you're... When your partner likes something, I mean, mm. I'm sure you've been to more rock concerts in the last two years than you probably ever intended to go to. <laughs> it's interesting showing up at a rock concert in a suit in South Florida in July. Yeah, it's it's pretty fun moshing with a guy in a suit to Mastodon, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, for Devin Ramnerain, <laughs> I'm Robbie Ramnerain. So long, and we will see you next week. Hope you all had a great 4th of July, by the way. Yep, see you guys. Take care. Bye. <laughs>